Acid trees are green. Red roses too. I see them move for me and you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Here Doctor Who the Adventure Games with me, Tops the Gear. Last episode we left far off. Away from um, we held up the ship, right. I believe. Amy, it. this way. Okay, now let's go. Um, we're just running, I think. There we go. We're safe, I believe. Stop. Maybe not. Come on, run. I keep going. Faster! I'm trying to go as fast as I can, I don't know how to run in this game. Let's jump. Oh. 41 kegs. We Five made of it. them need to be moved next door into that room. And that's where you should light the fuse. What is this? You seek to tell me my own business? No. Just make sure things are done properly. Look, trust me. We'll need 36 barrels of gunpowder in here. Oh, and uh, you need to set the fuse now. Now? King James doesn't arrive until the morrow. Listen to me, Guido, Guy, whichever. I have information that the King has come to Parliament tonight for a secret meeting. You must set the fuse now. Okay. No time, no time. The Houses of Parliament are about to be blown into orbit. Okay, they're what? Doctor, what did you just do? Pretty neat, don't you think? The gunpowder explodes, the root and ship takes off. Meanwhile, Parliament is transported up here out of harm's way just for a millisecond, and no one's the wiser. Is that the Rutans? Yes, that'll be them. It looks like they're coming this, this way. Doctor, where is the doomsday weapon? I have no idea. Have you lost it? You know, you really can't be too careful with doomsday weapons. Your friends have taken it. And now we're coming to take the it doomsday back. Weapon. We don't know anything about any weapon, okay? Surrender it, or we will destroy you all. Okay. This isn't good. Oh. Get off me! Well, what do we have here? I'm a boy. Question is... What the hell are you, a flaming goblin? Field Major Kash, the Avix patrol has come under root and attack. So, they have returned. Perhaps the weapon is still here. We may yet have a chance to turn the tables on the root and host. Question him. Okay. So, we know where it is, but we need to try and find it. Before it's gotta be that orb us. thing that Charlie ran off with. That must be the doomsday weapon. Thing is, it looked familiar. Familiar? When I was at Black Rod's treasure room, there's an orb just like it set in the ceremonial mace. Of course you did. The Rutans lost a second doomsday weapon when they crashed here. It's quite pretty for a weapon. Mm -hmm. Someone decided to incorporate it in the mace. And we think we know who has the other one. Yes. Charlie, yes, I heard. You heard? You weren't even in the room. Sound carries in the TARDIS. Have you never noticed that? I hear everything. You hear everything? I sometimes wear earplugs. Now, catch. <laughs> <laughs> and this is... It emits an electromagnetic pulse that will stun the Rutans. However, it'll need fixing before you go around pointing it at anything. And where okay. are you off to now? We need to find both Doomsday weapons before either the Rutans or the Sontarans. The Sontarans? Of course, you don't think they'd be so worried about just any Rutan ship buried under Parliament, do you? They knew about the Doomsday weapons. If they get their hands on one, they could adapt it to destroy the Rutans. Exactly as the Rutans were going to destroy them. Maybe we should just leave them to it. We can't. Never mind the immorality of genocide, we have to get Parliament back to Earth, and we can't do that with some Tarans and Rutans marching, stroke, floating about. So we've got to find Charlie. You find Charlie, I'm going to find Black Rod. We should split up. We'll cover more ground faster. Yes. And um, welcome back. So yeah, I kind of tried this before, buddy. Failed. Yeah. I'm going to mention that. Right, let's hopefully get this working. Mm.
Okay. So, we need to get across the hall. Are there any of them seeing us? Alright, now you're going to have to turn around and go this way. I can sneak behind you and come here. Which means you can go that way. And this guy can't turn around at all. Okay. Is that guy going to turn around? This guy turns around. That should be good. Here we go. Yeah, we crossed the hall. I don't know what that was. The TARDIS is trying to hold it stable in orbit. Oh, maybe not. <sighs> So much for transporting Parliament out of harm's way. Poor cleaners are really going to have their hands full when this lot finish. Okay, well, let's just get away. Is that, is that his door? Okay, what's happening here? idea was this. Go find Charlie. Let's split up. Why does it always end up with me getting shot at? Yeah, this isn't good. Okay, find Charlie. Take it. Oh. This way, then. Oh, there's Rutans as well. Where's that Rutan go? Oh, I went in the. There's no Okay. So we're in here. Where is the root and weapon? I don't know what you're on about. I wanna go home. My sister Annie. She's sick. Okay. So we found him. I know it's been a difficult day with aliens and parliament floating in space and everything, but believe me, I've got a plan, and it's a good plan, and this is part of the plan, my very, very good plan, if you just put the sword down so the plan doesn't come to an abrupt and frankly messy end, and I'll explain everything. Sir, I've had my mind lost to hairless devils, been attacked by giant orbs of flying light, and been blasted into the ether by plotters determined to kill my sovereign. The only thing of which I am sure is the yard of cold steel in my hand and my determination to run it through your gizzard. Well, since you put it like that, I can, of course, sense the tension in the room. And tension is never good, not when a lot of it is humming down yes. the blade of a sword. So, tell me, what can I do to turn this around and gain your trust? Because that's going to work, isn't it? Your menace is not what it seems. The mace, the ceremonial mace you carry, is actually an alien doomsday device that could potentially destroy the world and the entire Sontaran yeah. species with it. Please, hand it over so I can disarm it. Such strange words. Such strange claims. You are either telling the truth or a greater spinner of yarns than Bill Shakespeare himself. Okay. The mace is very the orb dangerous. on the ceremonial mace you carry, it's not what you think it is. Where did it come from? The orb? It was dug from the ground that this great palace was built upon. I thought so. And you can have no idea what it really is. What it really is? 
You seek to mystify um, me with distraction. The orb is a device that's come from another world, from beyond the stars in your sky. It is a doomsday weapon designed to destroy an entire species. And I have to disarm it. Look at it. Does anything you've ever seen in this world glow like that? Indeed. It glows with an unearthly light. What you say may be the truth, or it may be sorcery. Truth be known, anything is possible after what I've seen this day. The king is in danger. If you kill me, the king won't stand a chance. The king? What do you know of the king? He is in grave danger. This I know. A letter was sent to Lord Salisbury, a warning of a Catholic plot. Yet this is only knowledge to Salisbury and his agents. Or the plotters themselves. I know all about the plot. Of course, the letter, the Monteagle letter. Of course you'll have seen it by now. What trickery is this? How could you know of the letter? William Parker, Baron Monteagle. He received an anonymous letter, didn't he? Warning him to stay away from Parliament. And, as a good Englishman, he showed it to Salisbury. Your knowledge of events is indeed extensive. But still... These things fail to satisfy me. On which side your allegiances lie? Um. Saying the good friend. I guarantee you, sir, Lord Salisbury will Salisbury. be really disappointed if you run me through. Speak not of those of whom you know nothing, knave. Lord Robert Cecil, first Earl of Salisbury, spy master to King James, defender of England, and Bob to his friends, and Bob to me. Run me through, and you'll really get Bob annoyed. Your silver tongue spins a fine tale, sir. But you will have to try harder than that to save your skin. Okay, um, Sontarans. The bald devils you saw, they're Sontarans, and they want your mace too. But believe me, they're nothing like as reasonable as I am. They won't ask you, they'll take it. And they're coming armed to the teeth. And your sword just won't stop them. I doubt that. These Sultanas are no Sultanas. match for cold English steel. <laughs> I'm one of Salisbury's agents. Code name: the Doctor. This may be the case. But how am I to know? You may be a double agent, sir. No. no, really. Double agents, triple agents. I had enough of that in the 50s. It gets quite confusing after a while. You know much of the current situation. Perhaps you speak the truth. Can you prove this? I have my credentials right here. Just let me show them to you. Okay. Throw on the psychic paper. And show the psychic scenario. I... I apologise. <laughs> I truly do, sir. But I hope you understand my predicament. Yeah, we understand. Of course we do. Ah, company. And you've brought a gun. You really shouldn't have. Okay, now it's time for Rory. To do his work, or whatever it is he needs to do. Looks like I need to fix the EMP. Pick up. Uh, it's an ask to pick up. No. So it's gonna never is never gonna fire again. Fact, let's have a fact about the Union flag. Okay, pause that if you wanna read it. Um creepy noises. Let's see if combined that's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work. Um, seems to be missing a trigger. Uh, seems to be missing a trigger. Use that with that and take the trigger. I doubt that's gonna work. Why can't I just take the trigger out of it? Right on that. That gonna work. Coating is smelly grease should loosen up the parts. Okay, and then I'd rather not do that. Okay. Uh, 
That's not going to work. What does it say now? The trigger mechanic has come free from the stocks. Okay. Pick up the musket trigger. Here we go. And let's add... Bump, bang, them two together. And then that should work. Well, it almost looks like a sort of gun. Here we are again. You're not a nurse. You're an action hero. You're not a nurse. You're an action hero. Okay, well, I think. So, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, favourite, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Check out my Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Twitch for the latest news, information, and live streams. If you want that all in one place, go to topstudio.com. I hope you have a great day, and let the outro play.